Regarding the PLA, for a long time, it was basically the engine for the economic development. To what extent has the private so-called sector in China been divorced from the PLA? Uh, the PLA, like the Thai Armed Forces, like other armed forces in developing countries, is heavily involved in business. Um, say, I mean, why, why is Egypt now being ruled once again by the military? Because the military saw its business interests undermined by the, by the, by, by the Islamic government. And, and the military was not going to put up with that. So the PLA is deeply involved in, in, um, you know, in, in business in a great way. But the, the important thing about the PLA, and the acronyms are confusing, because the People's Liberation Army includes the Navy. It's actually called the People's Liberation Army Navy. All the wonks call it the plan. You know, um, you know the plan. This, the plan that. You know, al alphabet soup and acronyms. Um, and what's happening is that the PLA is becoming less and less of a kind of oxen cow World War II style army that brings in the crops, helps development, and, and is becoming a more postmodern force, emphasizing naval, air, ballistic missile, and cyber power. Now. There is a guy at the Naval War College, a professor, who speaks fluent Mandarin and is a naval expert. His name is Professor Lyle Goldstein. And what Lyle does is all he does is he reads Chinese military and foreign policy journals in Mandarin. And he tells me that the real Chinese threat is not the platforms they're building or the training they're giving. It's the quality of their intellectual debate is much higher than ours. Um, um, there's real arguments, real debates. He said ours is, not, ours is skewed by neoconservatives and liberal internationalists who have a moral understanding of, of, of the world. It, with theirs, everyone's a realist. Everyone's a cold-blooded realist. And it's all kind of constructive arguments about how we can squeeze out the Americans. You know, what, what is the best way to map the, the floor of the South China Sea in order to make more claims? It's all utilitarian and realist. Um, and, and, you know, it's a much more serious, and it's utterly amoral. You know, you know, just utterly, not immoral, just utterly amoral. So the debates are fraught, they're serious, and he said it's the, it's the intellectual caliber of the PLA which constitutes its greatest strength. 